Greetings collectors, followers and friends. Tom Hughes here with some more thoughts on painting. Today I'm in Lyme Regis, uh, which is in Dorset, sort of down from where I live in Bristol, straight down uh, on the coast. And it's, it's known as the uh, Jurassic Coast around here for its plethora of fossils embedded in the cliffs that have a habit of falling out into the hands of um, enthusiastic fossil hunters. Behind me is the rather originally titled Sandy Beach and uh, the rest of Lyme Regis. I've never been here before. Um, it's another one of those places where I should have been here um, many times being an Englishman just never got round to it. So, yeah, this is Lyme Regis. Over behind me, that row of, um, that headland, headland, cliffs, um, that's Charmouth, and that's where a lot of the fossils uh, are found. You can see in those um, cliffs there, it all, it's constantly sort of falling away into the sea, eroding, and, um, Revealing its Jurassic treasures. I'm not sure where to paint yet. I've actually, I've been down to Charmouth Beach already, had a look, but um, doesn't get much more contra jour than that, does it? That's pretty into the light. I'm not a huge fan of painting coastal scenes into the sun. Wait for that cut. So I might, leave that till the end of the day actually until the sun swung around so down there's an option boats water harbour wall uh, I'm more in the mood for landscape though I have to be honest than boats so the other option is to drive around the coast a bit more to uh, Seaton and Beer uh, yeah. Not sure yet. Uh, what's been happening? Sort of general stuff. I missed the deadline. Didn't even know it was on. I forgot about the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. It's the first time I haven't entered in about, well, since I started painting, I think. Five, six years or something. So that's a bit of a shame because I've had quite good luck with that. Um, over over the past years, um, the comments about previous episodes have been have been interesting. Uh, so <laughs> someone said, uh, someone said that someone said to them, "Don't under any circumstances ever touch your nose while you're on camera." And I do that a lot. Um, I look away a lot. So I was just sort of there. Just <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, hay fever. Uh, I was watching back some recent episodes and I was thinking I was trying to make a sort of mental checklist of all the unprofessional things that I do and there were loads but look this is a vlog I'm not the BBC and I'm not trying to be so I don't care about any of that stuff uh, you might though me um, perpetually clear in my throat it's actually it's actually a bit of a tick that I have um, sometimes I go <clears throat> no what is it so I can't do it unless it's actually the tick it's sort of like a uh, mm, 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 mm. that so if you hear me doing that I haven't actually got anything in my throat it's just a sort of a tick so um, yeah, so I touch my nose, I clear my throat a lot. I don't make proper eye contact with the lens. Um, continuity is generally quite bad. I don't film enough B-roll to um, fill in the gaps. And I haven't got anything to say, so there's no thoughts anymore. But apart from that, I'm knocking it out of the park. Considering this is such a picturesque spot, it's really noisy. So I'm gonna go, I think.
quite a nice little pond. Um, this is the oyster and fish house and that bin stinks of fish. Right, let's do some work. I think this is going to be one of those days where I'm incredibly uh, waving at some <laughs> random person. I think this is going to be one of those days when I'm getting incredibly fussy about what I want to paint and where. I just I'm just in that sort of mood. <sighs> That's almost a painting. Well, it is really, but. Oh, do I want to do it? Um, sandy beach, not really. Again, if you're going to choose the most obvious uninspired name, you could at least sort of get it right. Stony beach, maybe. But it, it's a glorious day. I mean, look at that. Wonderful blue. Um, and there's no one here, obviously, because it's early in the morning. It's about 8.30, I think. Okay, let's continue the search. So I'm walking around the, um, I think it's called the Cobb. Um, I think I, I, I'm one of Britain's worst tour guides. <laughs> I wish I could, you know, tell you interesting things about everywhere I am, but I've never been here before. Um, when was this built? I don't know. What's it for? Uh, put boats in. Um, I'm more interested in how things look. So, this is, oh, well, everything's potentially a painting, isn't it? But, just in one of those moods, I might try and frame this up with my hand, have a better look. I find it very hard to overcome the urge to look over the edge of things. The higher the better, but it's not really high, is it? It's time for me to eat a little bit of humble pie. Um, I had, uh, I took a bit of a low blow at the old um, Sandy Beach name. I don't think I was standing on Sandy Beach then. I think, I think this is the Sandy Beach. What do you reckon? <laughs> ah, whatever. Yeah, this is nice. They've sort of raked it, ploughed it. This looks like a, a, groomer, a groomer slope when you go snowboarding and they've got the ploughs out in the night. I'm still looking for a spot as you're probably painfully aware. So British this look. Part of the problem, I think, is how bright it is. See, there's there's two things going on. There's it's a lovely day, irrespective of what I'm trying to do, which is paint good pictures. And there's the act of trying to paint good pictures. And I'm not a huge fan of painting in very bright light. So I picked a really good day. You see, it's a good day for filming, but it's not just the light, it's the, it's the angle that we're at. This very wide stretch of coastline, I can't think of a way to get it in. We might have to go up the hill there's something so quintessentially English about this place. It's very, very clean. Which is always nice. Okay, so I've now walked the length of Lyme Regis Bay. There's nothing I want to paint. 
which may seem strange to you, but the views that are here, they're wide views, they're bigger paintings, sort of 12 by 16, 16, 12 pieces. And I think if you're gonna paint here, it has to be about the seafront and the people. That's Lyme Regis, that's what I'm taking from it. Um, I'm not really a figure painter. Um, that's not what interests me. Uh, I'm more interested in aerial perspective and um, water meeting land, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna walk all the way back to the car and I think we're gonna move on. <laughs> we started in Charmouth, over there, behind me. Didn't wanna paint it. Drove down to here, looked all around, don't want to paint it. So next up is Seaton and then Beer. And I've got a hunch. I think we could end up in Beer. Should we see what happens? Now I know this is a painting series, but I really like Lamborghinis. I take back everything I said about the old sandy beach comment. The sandy bit is about 20 metres long. I think they collect all the stones with the machine. You can see it down there. Still a nice beach. So after much, much deliberation and messing about, I've decided uh, that's the one, that's the view. Now, it's all sort of hyper-saturated and bright blue, green. Uh, which I'm not, I'm not crazy about. I mean, it's a lovely day, but that sort of painting I'm not that crazy about these days. But I'm gonna try and do my best. I nearly forgot the obligatory magic trick. My, my. This bag's rather heavy. Like a damn. No. So I just check the time. It's 11 a.m. I got here three hours ago and I'm only just starting the first painting. That's not good. <sighs> If you want one of these Uber rulers, God, oh, look at that perfect straight line. If you want one, email me and tell me. And uh, my website's got the details of how much they cost. And we'll uh, we sort the. Oh, see, I should use the Uber ruler. We can sort the payment out via PayPal or um, bank transfer and I'll get one in the post to you. I just got another batch made. Well, getting them made. They're getting laser printed this week. Getting 20, another 24, because the last 10 sold out in a day. So, uh, yeah, another, oh, let's get that angle there perfectly. Another 24 are incoming. So if you want one, just send me an email and you'll, I'll put you, I'll add you to the list. And uh, if you're wondering, I make very, very little money on these. Mainly due to the cost of laser etching. So that was a inspired business decision. Right, I'm very, very glad to be actually finally painting now. I was getting a bit worried for a minute then that this was just gonna be one of those days uh, that I do have sometimes. Where, for whatever reason, 
and it is hard to know sometimes. It just, things just don't look right. You know, my head's not in the right place. I mean, I am very tired, obviously. Kids woke up in the night. Beth just woke up screaming right next to my ear, sleeping in our bed. For no discernible reason, just went crazy. The fun never stops. So I'm always I'm always interested in what you guys um, think about what I'm doing and I'm very interested in feedback. So uh, don't be shy in the comments. I'd really like to to hear your thoughts, your thoughts on my painting, ha <laughs> ha. But uh, yeah, I really am interested. Even if you're, you're a hater and you want to lay into me about something, um, the comments is the place to do it. An open forum, a democratic place where you can all insult me equally if you feel the need. I need to put some cream on. We've got some clouds coming in now, which is going to make things interesting. I met a guy just on the walk up to this spot. Uh, you bet you almost definitely can't see it, but over there is the island of Portland, past Weymouth, and um, it's a fascinating place. I think I think I went up there in a previous episode of Thoughts on Painting. I think I did, or I did a blog post about it, or something, but. It's a really, it's a really interesting place. There's a prison up there, and the whole island of Portland has got this sort of slightly eerie, creepy atmosphere. But I love it. I love places like that. There's just something unsettling about it. They filmed a TV show there in the 60s or 70s. Again, I'm not a fountain of knowledge, so. Uh, do look that up. But I met a guy, yeah, that's the story. I met a guy uh, while I was walking up to this spot who said he was an inmate in the prison, which was interesting. I just had a brief chat with him and he said he didn't like it very much, um, which I, th I think is kind of the point of prison, uh, part of it. But he was a nice chap. But he said, uh, he said it didn't do me any good, so I, uh, I ended up going to prison again. So, a repeat offender. He had, um, he had his phone on, uh, had his phone on speaker and he was obviously on hold the whole time we were chatting. There's classical music coming out. And I said, when I said bye, I said, I hope you get through on your phone call. And he said, yeah, it's a debt collection agency. And he made me laugh. He's a real character. See there, that's one of the, um, that's one of the nice things about Plan Air. Random encounters that, you know, I wouldn't have met that guy if I'd been Painting in the studio today. 
since I've spent so long fannying around that clouds will start to come in. Now the whole beach is dark. Which is not good. It's going to be a tricky one. See, my eyes feel much happier now the sun's gone in. good with a really bright light it just it just hurts so I'd say for me this is probably one of the most some of the most challenging conditions to paint in I, moving clouds and bright sun. Can you hear the excuses already for why it's going to be terrible? Yeah, what are your thoughts Dear listener, on bright sunny days in relation to painting, whether you're a painter yourself or whether you just like looking at paintings where you collect them, would you never even consider buying a painting unless it was nice weather in the painting? Or would you never even consider going out painting unless it was a sunny day? Or are you not bothered by those sorts of concerns and you just want to capture it somehow? Whether it's a grey, sunny, or raining, etc. I think I naturally got drawn to grey days because of my eye sensitivity. It was just, it sounds sort of dramatic, but it was actually painful, is painful for me to paint in on very, very bright days. So midsummer for me, midday midsummer is just awful. I don't enjoy it at all. It just hurts. I get a headache. And feel very bad the next day. I know some people paint with sunglasses on but that is not for me. I can't judge my... I can judge tone still but I can't judge colour with shades on. You take the shades off and look at the painting and you think, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Some bright old greens over there.
I think, uh, well, you'll know when you watch this if I've done it or not in the edit, but I think I might have to stop doing the name that tune sort of intro stuff uh, where I play a, a riff on my acoustic guitar and you have to guess what it is on the title sequence because it's highly likely that the YouTube algorithm will listen to my video and say oh that's Metallica and then make a copyright claim against my video even though it's me playing it and then if the video is ever monetized even if the video is two hours long and that clip is four seconds long <laughs> Metallica get all the money which is ludicrous but that's happening uh, that does happen things like that do happen and I don't want to risk that so as fun as it was for two videos I'm gonna to have to think of something else I'm gonna to have to knock that on the head which is rubbish because I thought it was quite a good idea and I was enjoying doing it I'll think of something ah see this is this is really difficult with the sun misbehaving like this. Gut reaction at this stage is this painting's probably going to be a wiper. I'm not feeling it yet. sun keeps sort of hitting up there. Okay, this is, it's hard to tell. It's sort of going, sort of going okay. Question for the Americans watching. Have you been surprised or... Uh, yeah, I guess surprised would be the right word. At how... What England's like from what you've seen of my videos. If that makes sense. Like, is this... Did you have a preconceived notion of, say, the British seaside in your head? And if so, how does it compare to the reality? For example, where I, uh, where I am today. Um, I know a lot of you watching are in the States. 
So, you know, thoughts on painting, I guess, is sort of a bit of a tourist guide in some, some senses, I guess. Yeah, I've got a lot of Welsh blood in me. Hughes being a Welsh name, and um, as far as I know, the Welsh don't tan that well. Could be wrong about that, but as far as I'm aware, that's the case. Much busier now. So the inevitable kind of happened with that one and it was a wiper. Um, I wasn't feeling it from the get-go um, and if that's the case it's normally just <laughs> downhill from there until I eventually wipe it off. So we're going to get in the car and we're going to go exploring. So I made it to beer and that there is beer cliffs. Rather nice, isn't it? And um, it's lunchtime, so I kind of, I had to do it really, cod and chips. Um, yeah, so it's about two o'clock now and we haven't got a painting in the bag. So I'm really hoping that I can pull this one off. I. Uh, I did one of my favourite paintings here years and years ago, maybe five years ago, and it was sort of similar light. Um, I think I've only got time, maybe got time to do two if I work fast, but I've still got to eat my lunch, so probably only time for one more painting. But um, it's quite a spot, isn't it? I mean, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, let's eat. 
halfway through the fish and chips. Very, very good fish and chips actually. A bit pricey, but worth it. The sun's fully come out now. And it just looks amazing. Look at like the red cliffs at Seaton compared to these. It's just wonderful. Yes, yeah, so I actually get to sit down. I think this is the only spot I've ever painted in. Where I've been able to sit. What a treat. Oh, I really hope this one goes well. Some spots just, I think I've said it before actually, some spots feel, they feel man-made. They're so perfect compositionally. Sort of. And it's obviously just a sort of human projection on a natural form, but I think it's nice that Conscious beings exist because if they didn't, there might not be anyone, anything around to appreciate that. <coughs> the sun comes out it does make you think how nice it would be to be <laughs> financially independent and just do what you want Why is that? <laughs> Elements. Oh, it's not, not nice yeah, day today. Uh, oils. Do 
watercolours in a in our evening class, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. People are always surprised when you tell them it's oil paint. Compositionally, slightly paranoid. Uh, not getting enough of this in. Ah, the old Uber ruler saves the day again. What a clever device. If only there was somewhere where you could buy one. Probably change your life if you're an artist and you manage to get your hands on one, I'd imagine. Pretty life changing. It made me a better person when I started using it. Colours are just so, so rich, it's, I'm already a bit scared that I'm going to over egg it. Really hope the sun stays out. I want this to be good. It's funny that 
the experience of the first half of today of walking around for three hours and then the painting not working. Um, you would have thought after doing this for seven years that I'd be pretty much immune by now to f sort of failures and in inadvertent commas wastes of time like that affecting me. But I've got to tell you, it does still. It definitely does. I wish it didn't. Um, one of the hardest things about being full time is if you have a really bad run maybe two or three trips in a row don't go well you got to find a way to pick yourself up I really hate trying to talk and hold a train of thought and there's people walking past me just talking to myself as far as they can tell <laughs> not a good look yeah where was I um, yeah so I just had a feeling um, when I got there, I was like, oh no, I don't think this is going to go very well. And it's not, you know, you might think, oh, all that is, is a case of a little bit of doubt planting a seed and then the seed growing into like fear and then that mucking up your concentration. And I, I've been doing this long enough. I don't think that's it. I just sort of have a intrinsic sort of gut response to uh, compositions, um, position of the sun, all that sort of stuff. You know, I sort of know, sort of know what's going to work and what isn't, and I've become better at uh, not even bothering to attempt things. Because I know from experience, it's highly likely it's not going to work and it's going to waste my time. So that's why I think uh, it took me so long to start painting. And when I did, I shouldn't have. I think I didn't. I didn't. I should have trusted myself more and just got in the car and gone and just said, well, tough. You went to a place, you didn't get one. So what, move on. Uh, but I didn't, I thought, well, I've, I've come all this way. I've got I've to at least try. And I honestly think that is not true. Sometimes, you know, I should have, I should have just come here. I should have just come to beer. I shouldn't have tried. Uh, because deep down I knew it wasn't gonna work. And I was just inevitably, well, I was painting towards the inevitable, which was stopping. Yeah, the older I get, the more, the more I think instinct. I think your instinct get, gets honed with experience. So any sort of subconscious feeling you might have in your stomach about oh, this situation doesn't feel right I think it's worth listening to that more and more as you get older because you, your data banks are much fuller than they were a 
about what is either, in this case, not a threat, but get off, bug. Why has he got to land on the highlight? Um, lost my train of thought now. Yeah, instinct. It's an important, it's an important thing to listen to, especially when time is a factor, as it most certainly is with plan air painting. This piddly brush I'm using. I think a lot of people can't believe how little paint I use. I agree, it's not very much. Yeah, going back to that point, I think the biggest battle in painting is you know, aside from the technical stuff, which is hard, controlling your your mind, I guess it's the same with anything, but it's really, really difficult. But I wasn't too bad today. I mean, I did say to myself, look, you win some, you lose some, let's just Let's not write it off, let's just go to beer. And I wasn't, I didn't feel down about it really. I felt annoyed that I'd lost half a day and had nothing to show for it. That definitely wound me up. Because I hate wasting time, but I think when I, st in the first couple of years when I was painting, Days like that used to have a awful effect on me. You know, could sort of ruin ruin my mental state, my thoughts about how I felt about painting or how my work, career, whatever you want to call it, was going. You know, a couple of bad days you, and you can be like, oh God, well. Oh. That's it, I mean, you know, your self-talk can get very, very damaging. So hard to, I think it's because you tell yourself what I tell myself, well, the evidence for things being bad is here, it's obvious, it just happened. Therefore, the future is bad. Um, but then you just need a good day or a good session and then the mind can say, well, I now have evidence that things will be okay. That, you know, therefore I am happier. which is, you know, it's like, that's sort of understandable, but really what would be far more helpful, I think, would be if the brain said, and it did today, I should add, when the brain says, yes, that was bad, but historically we know that a bad is often followed by a good, So don't worry, don't panic. You'll have a good session. And it happens, these, I mean, I've done quite a bit of studio painting now over the last couple of years, but I think I can say now that with more authority that 
bad days happen more frequently with plein air than they do with studio painting or they certainly have the potential to and that's because maybe rather obviously so little is in your control when you're outside you just can't um, turn a light on and or shut a blind you know you don't like the way it's going you either pack up and go home or you wait you've got two options or you start another painting in the different lighting um, Cliffs really are an extraordinary colour over there. I mean, they don't really look real, but I swear the way I paint sort of changes. Depending on the scene and my mood, I think I just working around like a puzzle with this one, sort of rendering it quite sort of finishing it as I go, which I don't always do. One of the hardest things about this painting is getting the tones right. So you really show that brightness of the cliff.
that's coming on the leaps and bounds now. Thank you. And a bit of colour in it. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. Oh yeah. Feeling a bit stressed now that something could go wrong. Because it always can. <laughs> That's for sure.
one of the most interesting things to me in painting is on bright blue sky days like this is shadows on white things because it's the sky it's the blue sky ref that's reflecting off the shaded white bits and it's just magic that colour it's so hard to get just right Feeling very tentative. I think because the one this morning didn't go well, I'm extra cautious about mucking this one up. So I'll be really gutted. Thanks very much. How long has it taken you? Uh, about two hours as well. Two hours? Yeah. So finished. <laughs> okay, finished. Um, I'm I'm happy that I've sort of redeemed myself uh, with that one um, to make up for the awful start to the day. But it's a it's a very it's a very good spot and the light was very very consistent so I'm happy. Right y'all, thanks for watching. Um I think I might try another one actually back to back because the light's perfect. Um but you don't need to see this two in a row. Uh if it works I'll stick it on Instagram probably.
Um, as always, if you liked this video, click the like button. Helps me a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember, life is short. You don't get days like this as often as you'd like. So go paint. Take care.